This is OS from the BBC World Service. 17 minutes past four here in this London newsroom and now to a huge talking point across Chinese social media. A journalist working for Chinese state media was removed from an event here in the UK. It was the Conservative Party conference. This was on Sunday after allegedly slapping a delegate in the face. Ah, well, just like Anna, we've been speaking to Kerry Allen, who works with BBC Monitoring, and she's monitoring this story for us down at our desk here in our London newsroom. So tell us more about this reporter. Uh, she's quite famous, right? And also why she became angry. She's not too famous, actually. Um, she's been known in CCTV to be a correspondent for the UK, so when there have been incidents like Grenfell, for example, and the, uh, the Manchester bombing, um, that she's, uh, she's been reporting on these, but, um, but this has really made her a household name. Um, so, um, so there have been these videos um, that show not the slap, but uh, her having an altercation with a junior volunteer at this event. And, uh, so by altercation, you mean words? or? Well, she's gesticulating quite a bit. Um, she does appear to slap what looks like his hands but it's uh, it's not entirely clear and he's posted on Twitter that he was slapped in the face just before the video was filmed. So there's social media but there's kind of a he said she said at the moment. Well at the moment it's worth mentioning that uh, it's uh, Golden Week in China so a lot of during this time it's one of the biggest national holidays um, there's not much media about anything so uh, so if there's a story everybody's reading about this one story and this is it. Um, so there have been hundreds of thousands of comments um, off the back of this but uh, but actually a lot appear to be government paid um, so uh, there's, a, there's a group in China known as the 50 Cent Party and these are people who are paid by the government a small amount of money to pay post comments that are kind of in line with what the state wants um, and they've um, they've all been defending this woman's actions and saying that uh, she was um, she was saying that um, that um, the um, the event um, the, the um, was was basically criticizing um, or suggesting that Hong Kong should become separate from the um, uh, from China and uh, and she was defending this and saying um, no how can you say anything about this um, so um, so users have been saying that they think she did the right thing and that she was defending Chinese sovereignty it's probably surprising perhaps in a way that she would be taking that role if she is a journalist Absolutely, yes. Um, but, um, but I mean, there, there is the possibility, Hong Kong media have been saying today that she's possibly making a name for herself. I mean, there's no, there's no strength in these allegations whatsoever, and it's not even proven that she has um, slapped anybody. These are, at the moment, these are just groundless. Um, she's not commented herself on this. So, uh, so everybody's watching this story and seeing what happens but next. But kind of interesting that it's happening at the Conservative Party conference in the UK. What about the person who she slapped? Who's he? Enoch Leo, he's, uh, he was a junior volunteer there, so he was part of a Tory delegation, and he, was, he, was, he asked her um, to leave because she was um, one of the speakers, Benedict Rogers, was, was talking about his experience with Hong Kong, and he was actually, a year ago, um, he was denied entry into the region, and um, so um, she was standing up and saying, um, I, I don't think that you have any grounds to speak about Hong Kong, um, she was being quite critical of him, um, and uh, Enoch Leo had, had basically kind of touched her by the shoulders and said, um, you're going to have to leave, and she got quite angry and upset. Thanks very much, Kerry Allen, coming down to tell us one story that she's keeping across here on OS.